Busan apartment tour video, take six. Hello everyone, Anil Haseo. Now this is me. Some of you were asking to see a video of my apartment, so this is that video. I'm in the front room right now, the entryway where you take your shoes off. This is the door. A little automatic lock on the outside is a keypad to get in, so there's no key. I hope everyone's enjoying this nice little water spot. That's the flaw in my camera lens. But yeah, this is where you come in. You take your shoes off, and your shoes go in here. And because I have no shelf space in the rest of the apartment, that's what this whole set of things is being used for. I'm even keeping my mop in here, extra bags. There's no, uh, no bar here to hang a coat. So that's that. Uh, but yeah, and here's the main room of my apartment, right in here. So. You notice I don't have a studio. I have an actual one-bedroom apartment. So you know, there's the phone to let people in if they to buzz people in. This is the TV, you know, the garbage because I haven't bought a garbage can yet. I've been here a week and a half. You know, priorities. There's the window with my reflection in it. Hello, everyone. And here's the table and chairs, my computer and the textbook that I'm working from. Eventually. I'll move this table into the corner, get a couch to go in here, and a nice coffee table in the middle of the room. But that's probably first, second paycheck type stuff. Here's the thermostat, which is very important because if you've noticed, no vents in the wall, in the ceiling, no radiator, no baseboard heat. No, all the heat comes straight through the floor. It's called an ondol, and underneath the floor are a bunch of hot water pipes. So the same hot water that goes to the sink and the shower also heats the apartment. That took some figuring out, but now I know how to run the shower without turning on the heat to the entire apartment. So here's the kitchen. You can tell it's a very small kitchen. I have a microwave that is in a spot that is not great, but it works out. I still have dishes to do. Sixth time I've shot this video, I've made that same joke. I have dirty dishes. I could just do the dishes. This is the gas range. I have to turn the gas on specifically when I want to use it. But yeah, no oven, just a stove top. Underneath it, a washing machine and no dryer. But that's been easy to deal with. I thought I'd have more trouble with that. It's been simple. Here's the wet bathroom. There are my shower flip-flops. There's the drain in the middle because the whole thing is the shower stall. And that's been easy to adjust to as well. It's not a problem. I thought I'd be worried that the towel is directly across from the shower, but it works out. It doesn't get hit, it doesn't get wet. It's all good. And then here's my bedroom. There's my drying rack, looking like Mothman. Underneath it are my laundry hampers, you know, air conditioner, Wi-Fi, wardrobe. Here's my bed. This is where I sleep. And Korean stores don't, shell, don't sell bed sheets. They sell fitted sheets for the mattress, they sell pillowcases, but they just don't have a bed sheet. So you just sleep directly under the blanket or the duvet, which is a bit of a shock. Here's the window, just like we had out there. They open up and you pull, you pull the screen down. But generally, you don't want the windows open because the air is full of a lot of pollution. And then this isn't the closet, this is the water heater. You can see there's the pipes that go under the floor. There are the pipes that go everywhere else. So, yeah. This is me. I'm in Busan. And I'm actually doing it. And I'm, I'm really happy with where I'm living. I have a one-bedroom apartment. I don't have a studio. So there's space to work in. There's space to move about. And I'm living in a nice neighborhood. I'm right near a whole bunch of entertainment, a whole bunch of stores, a lot of grocery stores, which is nice. All sorts of subway and bus lines. It's crazy how easy it is to get get around here. But I'm doing well. So hope you're doing well too. Uh, I love you all and I'll have other videos eventually. Maybe of me trying Korean snack foods because uh, I'm such an adventurous eater to begin with. Let's try these weird snacks.